casuals, whales, straight up Kaya creators, is better. theory crafters. Long ago, the community lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the career's doom posted. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he folded. <laughs> 100. <laughs> Hello there, Flip here, and uh, I'm sorry, I will never ever fold like that again, holy shit. I was going for over half a month and everyone is doom posting Shenhe, overhyping the fuck out of Zhongli, Sekka is Sekka, and Tectone is in his 378th, 356,000th drama. So during these times, where the fuck was I? Oh. <laughs> so TLDR, I made an I went to lose video, scripted, recorded and edited it. That shit was packaged prime and proper. I don't know if that's a phrase or not, I just came up with it. Anyways, I had the video done but because of how I feel the Genshin Court series should be, it didn't meet that standard. And also with the way I went to lose his videos are, I didn't want to blow things out of proportion as he doesn't really give that much of a strong opinion on anything, despite a few exceptions but those takes were so long ago, that's irrelevant now. I can make a video covering the problems about I went to lose and his community, but I don't think it can be a Genshin Court at least. And also on top of this, school is currently beating the living shit out of me, but after January this should come down a lot, so hopefully that's understandable as to where the fuck I was. I genuinely do feel bad because somehow this has been the first time where I returned and gained subscribers which actually fucking shocks me, so thanks for that. Sorry again guys, I will hopefully never just fucking vanish again, maybe get me to 1000 subscribers then I can make community posts and up yeah a man who has been gone for almost three weeks now has no right to be making demands all right now let's move on to the topic of the video so how i came to this video topic was kind of hilarious actually i was streaming and a cock main came into my chat to tell me about another creator who also happens to be a cock main and they are a giga whale so i get sent videos of this creator and holy shit they are uh you'll see and this creator actually made me want to talk about something that is kind of becoming more of an issue and that is whales trying to tackle the average player's perspective and that probably doesn't make any sense right now but stick around to the end of the video and you'll somewhat understand what my dumbass is trying to say the biggest example i can think of for this point is none other than a character like zhong li most content creators hyped the living shit out of this man who looked like he just stepped out of the trenches you guys are on something different if you think zhong li has drip by the way content creators value zhong li a lot and then this gets echoed by the community from the fans of these content creators and now would you look at that everyone thinks that zhong li is this top tier character that will carry your account when he is really mediocre and to most players won't do much for their account. This is because Zhongli is a character to where if you can already clear the content in the game fast, he allows you to do this with more comfort, but if you can't clear the game fast enough or struggle, he doesn't help you that much, unless you are the embodiment of skill issues or a mobile player. <laughs> so guess what type of people can benefit a fuck ton from a character like Zhongli? Whales. And then since whales feel a massive benefit from even a C0 Zhongli, again, they echo and reinforce this, even though it really isn't all that true. And this is how misinformation gets spread. Again, another example of this is remember when whales were clowning on meta players who said Kazaha is a 5 star sucrose. Even though being called a 5 star sucrose is one of the best compliments you can receive as a new character. Fuck, call me a 5 star sucrose, I would gladly take that. How is this a bad thing? Whales and especially whale content creators will usually look at a character on the surface level and not try to understand where they can work on a more deeper and mechanical level, which is what theory crafters do, which is also shown in Mr. Dad Jokes content as his videos are who does more damage in this scenario and this makes X character better than X, without actually expanding on why X character is better than X. Unless of course the character is their waifu, then they will disregard all logic and testing, down 8 gallons of copium and use their R5C6 Kazaha with their Akula Bennett to say that their waifu isn't bad. Yo yo, what do you do for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? Oh, thank you. Thank no, what, you. what do you do for a living? No, no. What? What do you do? 
Now that's just one problem. Let's move on to the person who inspired today's topic, Kokomi Clown. To understand Shen He,、uh, Shen He ramps up really. She really, really increases in terms of her potential and value. The better your team is, and of course, over time, your account is going to become stronger and stronger. So, if you're going to play the long game with Genshin Impact, it's a good idea to pick up Shen He. <laughs> so, so what this man's told you is the same as crypto bros trying to coax you into buying NFTs. Buy this NFT now because this picture of Dwayne the Rock Johnson as a monkey will get tons of value in the future and set you and your grandkids up for success. Pull for Shen He now because she might eventually give value to your level seven alloy. You can't make this shit up. If I can't clear all the content in the game now. Why would I just extend the time of me clearing all the content in the game on the chance that a character gets more value when I can just pull someone like a Kazaha or a stronger DPS like Zhao and get instant value? Me just spinning the point of his words makes his take look so stupid. Shen He will only get value if you play cryo damage dealers. If you don't, she is more of a dead unit than Signora is. Whales actually live in a different dimension. The ignorance here is unreal. Sure, you can reap all the benefits of Shen He that you want because Shen He is a character that scales with the investment. So when you have fully kitted teams with perfect artifacts and five-star weapons, she gives value. But most accounts that can't clear content already will not feel her benefits for months. So they would just waste their pulls on a character they know is going to underperform on the chance she eventually gets good for their account. What the fuck is this logic? And this isn't even the worst thing that he said in the video. Let's move on to the actual Sekka level take that again just shows the ignorance that whales have when they have complete max out characters that will scale content. So you see, this is the problem in Genshin. Everyone, including Tintin, Kaching mains, and all these people, will tell you, you know, you've got to use your Bennett burst, then your Shangling Q, and then you got to go do this ability in this order at this time, and we call it a rotation. So you use your abilities in a specific order in a specific way, according to how someone else wants you to use it. And the problem is, it works great if the enemy just stands still and allows you to do it. Um, but with the dynamic way in which the game is interacting, enemies floating around, not giving you a chance to do this, energy is just sapping your elemental burst, and well, well, there's your rotation gone. Like what? Like what? The AI in this game is worse than Fortnite bots, and they have simple attack patterns that you can pick up on. And I have no clue what type of hilatrols on Adderall and steroids that you are fighting that makes you not pull off a rotation. This sounds like skill issues to me. Also, this implies that rotation in the first place are set in stone and unchangeable, which is just misleading. A rotation is more like a rough guide that tells you how you get the most damage, not something that you have to follow. Do you just not snapshot Zhang Ling's burst because the enemy moved centimeters away from Bennett's ult? When you have whale levels of investment and characters that are C six R five that also give you energy from constellations and your min max star effects that also have ER subs, that's when rotations mean fuck all to you. But for the average player who doesn't have access to that type of damage, rotations help players push out the most damage that their comps can do, and I see set rotations like this as a positive instead of the negative that Kokomi Clan here is trying to push. I have no personal problem with whales trying to voice their opinions, as it's not that deep. <laughs> But when this causes misinfo and other people to probably not enjoy the game, that's when I can clown on your take as it doesn't make sense. The greater problem with takes like this is that we will have more issues like Zhongli's viability, the Kazaha misinterpretation, Raiden overhype, that will make people doubt theory crafters and Kek QM when they are most likely the ones to help their accounts the most. If you look at what they have to say, it's kind of said that the top content creators on guides for the game for both streaming and YouTube mostly spit out shits or half truths most of the time. Some people genuinely still believe that Beidou has serious ER issues, which makes them not raise her. The game is way more fun when you can just slam dunk all the content in the game, which is why people care about meta and have to work with what they have and not with what they can get, which is what whales do. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on what your opinion is on on these whale content creators, and drop some down below. As I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I respond to almost every single comment. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm back. I will not. Fold like that ever again, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.
Peace. Stay with me, little bitch. Yeah, you know that I'm your man. You be capping like a snitch. No thoughts, no stamp. Two hoes, ten toes. New guac on the bands. New whip, new chips, new kicks. Chucky chat as you pay. Bad bitch, throw back. I just hit another lick and she be counting in my